guys, I'm Nicole Mejia, and I'm going to be taking you through three different circuits to target three of the top areas that us women want to work on. We're going to be working on our triceps or the back of the arms, our entire abdominal sections, and the lower body. We're going to be working out with the Fit and Thick resistance bands today, but you can find similar resistance bands at any sports store, or you can use machines at your gym or cables at your gym. Okay, we're going to start with the triceps. We're going to grab our resistance bands with the elbows pinned in and the palms facing down. Nice soft stance. You're going to press straight down. Give it a nice squeeze, a nice contraction. And we are going to be doing 15 reps. You also want to maintain a nice strong wrist on these. And one. Okay, now we're going to flip our grip upside down. The tricep has three heads, so flipping the grip kind of switches up how you're targeting the muscle. Okay, so we're going to repeat. Same exact movement, only our grip is flipped. Again, nice strong wrist. Now we're going to go right into an overhead tricep extension. I'm actually going to flip my entire body around, stagger my feet so the right leg is forward, the left leg is back, and the left heel is also back. The bend comes slightly from the hips. You want to pin the elbows in and extend. And you'll notice that the only movement is coming right from my elbows. And we're going to do tricep kickbacks. Feet are shoulder width apart. You're going to throw the hips back and the chest comes almost parallel to the ground. We're going to pin the shoulders up, uh, pin the shoulder blades together, excuse me. Elbows come nice and high. And we're going to extend. Whoa. Woo. It's important that when you're training, you maintain proper form. A lot of people want to lift a bunch of weight, but form and safety is number one. Form and safety is more important than putting up a bunch of weight at the gym. So if you find that you need to drop weight, there's absolutely no shame in that. You can do this circuit three to four times with about 60 seconds rest in between. And as you progress, you can always add resistance, go up in weight, and even go up in reps. All right, so now we're gonna be doing the lower body. So I'm gonna place my hands here on the wall for stabilization. Slight um, bend forward from the hip. And I'm remember my supporting leg is soft, my left leg is soft, and we're gonna start on the right leg. Okay, so I'm bending the knee in. We're gonna be doing 15 donkey kicks. My foot is also flexed. You wanna imagine that you have something right up against that heel, and that by pressing it out, you're activating the glute. Okay, it's a really good way to visualize and engage the glutes. And the bend comes from the hips. The movement comes from the hips. It's important not to hyperextend the lower back. So now we're going to do straight leg lifts. You're going to straighten out that leg. Very small movement. You're also going to start to feel your supporting leg to burn. Those are the stabilizers in that leg, and that is perfectly normal. We're going to do two more. And one. We're doing all of the movements on one side of the body, and then we're going to switch to the other. Now we're going to turn. And we're going to do abductor lifts. We're going to get down on the ground. We're going to be doing leg curls. So you're going to extend the leg out, and you want to you want to make sure that there's not a lot of slack on your band. You're Contracting the glutes to keep the knee nice and high. The leg should be almost parallel to the ground. And then we're just gonna curl in. Okay? And you might need to adjust and move out a little bit until you feel the ideal resistance. I like to point my toe with these. I find that it also engages my calves. Now we're going to stand up and do the entire thing on the left leg. You'll notice that I'm holding a little bit um, at the top to really engage the muscle. And since we're using resistance bands, if you just do the movement like this, a lot of the time, you're working off of momentum and you want to prevent that. Okay, so you really want to control every aspect of the movement. Okay, so if you do that circuit three to four times with 60 seconds rest in between, I promise you, you're gonna be burning. 
All right, now we're gonna hop right into the core. We're going to hop right into a plank. A low plank, so I'm gonna be on my forearms. My back is straight, my core is engaged, and my, my butt is down. If you need to, you can also be on your knees. That's the modification, okay? We're gonna do um, low plank to high plank. So we're gonna come up on our hands and then right back down and then alternate the side that we come up with. All right, second exercise is going to be hip plank rotations. So we're gonna pop right back up into a low plank on your forearms, butt is down, core is engaged, and we're gonna let the hips, the right side of the hip, fall down towards the ground. You're gonna feel a stretch in the obliques, and you're gonna pull the hips right back over. Make sure you're breathing. Nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, two, and We're gonna be doing hammer jack crunches. So you're gonna sandwich your hands. The right leg is gonna be extended out straight and the left leg is bent. You're gonna let the arms come up above your head and the leg is extended right above the ground. And then in one powerful movement, you're gonna come up and connect your fingertips with your toes. The modification for this would be to have your, your foot right in the air and you just come up and crunch. Nice, slow and controlled movement. But we're gonna do these hammer jack crunches. And there's 15 on the right and then we're gonna do 15 on the left. That was an exercise that targets a lot of the upper abs. Now we're gonna be targeting the lower abs specifically, okay? We're gonna lie flat on our backs, placing the hands right under the hips. It helps to protect the lower back. We're gonna bend the legs, toe touching down, and we're gonna bring the knees in towards our chest, lifting our hips off of the ground, and then coming back and extending the legs out. That's two. Three, and when you extend the legs out, the lower back needs to stay pressed to the ground, protecting the spine. Awesome, ladies, you got this. That definitely is going to leave me sore tomorrow. Remember that you have three sets and you wanna give it 90 seconds rest in between. You wanna let yourself recover a little bit more than the other two circuits because you don't want your core to get burnt out and then you start using your neck and overcompensating um, keeps the neck protected, okay? So we just focus trained our muscle groups, but I also wanna to touch on the importance of focusing our minds. We have so much crap in our lives every single day. Our minds are so cluttered with all of the things that we have to worry about and deal with. Every once in a while, when you tune into your body and you let your mind file away all of the things that it's going through, it really helps you to process and deal with life in a much more productive way. All right, thanks so much for joining me. I'm Nicole Mejia, make sure you subscribe.